How's everybody doing? Ryan here from Zidrick.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to maximize the capabilities of your iPhone. This is not for the iPod Touch so just a heads up. What this is going to do is show you how to get internet tethering the most efficient and beneficial way to you currently as of right now. Uh, tethering is not available um, maybe in the later months but with this way it is completely free and it gives you a few more options than if you were to use another method here on YouTube or on another website so here's how we're gonna do it obviously you need a jailbroken device you're gonna open up Cydia you're gonna click on the manage tab once we're there you're going to click on sources it will bring up your sources in the top right click edit when that's done, click in the top left and click add. And we're going to add our own source. This is completely safe. It's not going to harm city in any way. And here we're going to go. We're going to type in Exalize. Whoops. Excuse me there. This is, and a side note, this is kind of a, um, I don't want to say a secret source, but it's a very unwell known source. It's not very known uh, whatsoever. Exalize.com slash Cydia slash YouTube 789 dash YouTube and since we're done with that you're going to click on add source I already have it so I'm gonna click on cancel it's gonna verify that it's a source and it's gonna simply just download it uh, once it's done it's gonna give you this screen you're just gonna to click top right done should be at the top, maybe at the bottom, depending on how many sources you've manually added in your Cydia. But if you're new, it's most likely going to be on top, like it is for me. You're just going to click on Excelize. It's going to pop up their their source and what's in it. You're going to scroll down to the P section, and you're going to click on until you find PDA Net. Basically, PDA Net turns your iPhone into a Wi-Fi router for your Mac and or PC, both wirelessly and U USB feature. So this gives you a uh, a little bit few more options as far as that goes so definitely something to check out and it updates continuously so in the top right you're going to click install right here where it says modify and it's going to bring you to a con uh, confirmation page we're going to click confirm and it's going to download it's a very small download it's not going to uh, slow your phone down in any way or anything like that so definitely good uh, plus on there uh, once that's done it's going to ask you to come back to Cydia or you can press the home button whichever you prefer once it's done it's going to give you an icon or it should if you have any questions and or problems about this you can uh, contact us and the information will be in the sidebar or you can just leave a comment we'll get back to you here it is PDA net you're going to click on that and I'm going to show you how it works and how to set it up so when you first open it, you're going to want to navigate right over here in the settings tab in the bottom right. It's going to pull up these very simple but few options, but very effective. So in, before you do anything, you want to click purchase or register at the very top. It's going to bring you to this. And in the email section, you're going to type in any email. And when I say this, I mean anything. You can make up your own. So we're just going to press a bunch of things at yahoo.com and again you can use anything yahoo gmail it's a fake email you do whatever you want once that's done you're going to click on the serial and it's going to auto place it in once that's done you can either click buy or submit it's not going to buy anything obviously it doesn't have any of your credit card information I'm going to go ahead and click cancel once that's once that's done it'll give you a little pop up whether it says you've uh, done it correctly or not you will see here and I'm going to go ahead and show you it does say registered so we are good to go some of the options we have are Wi-Fi router mode for your Mac so uh, basically it turns your iPhone into a Wi-Fi router just you know obviously and for the Windows users you have a USB mode now not to say this doesn't work like with your Mac but it's very efficient if you use the Wi-Fi router um, most of the time but if you can't and you have problems USB is definitely 100% available for everyone now here it is PDA is uh, not excuse me off and um, so with the reason why I personally have it off is because of the fact that if you have Wi-Fi currently on and your Wi-Fi router mode is on which it is by default then it's gonna waste battery 
not so much that significantly, but it will lower it um, to a substantial rate. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it off and click done in the bottom right. You will see come to another page where this is off. Now, um, if you did have it on, it would say that it was on. We can go ahead and show you. We can turn on Wi-Fi mode and click done. And it will give you some information on how to set it up and that it's on. So definitely some important valid information that you may want to be checking out and reading for yourself. So that's PDA Net, how to tether with your iPhone and do it efficiently and more beneficial to the user. Very user friendly as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and or concerns. If you're on the Zidrick website, you can leave a comment there as well. And we will go ahead and try to help you out. And have a good one.